Hey guys and welcome to this really exciting video by the title you probably already know what it is um, I'm showing you guys today a full day of me eating what I eat um, from breakfast lunch to dinner um, how I prepare my meals and some recipes and yeah so this should be a lot of fun before I start the video I want to quickly mention that I want you guys to view this video as kind of like an inspiration and not as um, a prescription. I know that a lot of people do view these types of videos as like a prescription, but keep in mind that diet is something that is super personal. Everyone is different, everyone has different needs, um, and everyone has a different build, everyone has a diff different level of active activeness. So I really want to encourage you guys to view this more as an inspiration. Also, um, I want to quickly kind of tell you guys about my diet. Um, diet as in um, what I eat. I like to eat mostly plant-based about 90% of the time um, and today or the day I'm going to show you guys is also one of those plant-based days so all of those meals will be vegan plant-based. Um, yeah so there's nothing more I have to add. Um, let's start with the day. Good morning guys, so um, I just woke up and it's time for breakfast. Um, I do the same breakfast every single morning, so what I have is I make myself a porridge. For some reason my breakfast has to be the same every day, whereas lunch and dinner I can't really have the same every day, it has to be different every day and every week. Um, so for my porridge it's super easy, I don't cook my porridge, um, what I do is obviously we I have some oats, um, these are steel soft steel cut oats um, then then I add some um, nuts and uh, nuts and berries and also some seeds I have sunflower seeds and pumpkin seeds and and then I also add um, some chia seeds and some lentil no and some flax seeds and lastly I add a banana and some cinnamon. Also as I said I don't really cook my porridge, all I do is I add some water and um, the soft oats will, will turn the water into kind of like a diluted oat milk. So yeah, let's get started. Also, I try to drink a lot of water after breakfast because chia seeds and flax seeds are ingredients that will um, swell because of moisture or water. That's why um, you should drink a lot of water if you eat ingredients or dry ingredients like that. So guys, it's now lunchtime. Uh, I've been working all morning, so I'm really excited for lunch. It's kind of like a breather or a break for me. Um, so for lunch, I'm going to make uh, some bowls. Um, hold on, I'm going to show you guys which one I'm making. So for lunch, we're I'm going to make us uh, some bowls. This is the um, a picture that I posted on Instagram like a while ago, and so I'm just going to recreate. This is kind of like a Mexican-inspired bowl. I love bowls because they are, I think, a perfect balance between like. Um, proteins and veggies and um, carbs, well it depends what you put in it, but um, you can make it a really nice balance. So for this bowl I'm going to, um, as a base, as the carb base, I'm going to um, use rice. Um, this is rice that we cooked yesterday evening. We had, um, I forgot what we had, like curry or something like that. Um, so we just cooked some more and stored it in the fridge. Um, you can totally pre-cook your rice, but I wouldn't recommend um, storing it for longer than two days. Rice actually goes bad really easily. 
Um, then for proteins, I'm going to add some kidney beans. Um, this is only half a can. That's why I just cooked some chickpeas as well. We don't have kidney beans anymore. Um, then uh, for veggies, I'm going to add um, frozen green beans. Um, I have this whole video talking about why I love frozen food, um, why it's a, um, an amazing budget friendly healthy alternative. Yeah, I like to add some dark green veggies. Then also as additional veggies because I like myself some veggies or some extra veggies. Uh, as additional veggies I have um, a sweet bell pepper. My mind is still kind of not here. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna prepare all this and then um, assemble the bowl and then I'll come back to tell you guys about the dressing. Um, I feel like what's really important with bowls is the perfect dressing. Um, it really makes a bowl really delicious or if the dressing's horrible, not so delicious. <laughs> okay, so let's just get started. So you guys can see here are my finished bowls. Um, like always, they turn out a little bit too full, but that's all right. Um, this one has chickpeas instead of kidney beans, just because I ran out of kidney beans. I told you guys that. And I also just love how colorful these bowls are. I always strive to make it as colorful as possible, but um, it's not only pleasing to the eye, but also it's a good indicator that um, you're getting a lot of different nutrients. So yeah, now that all that's left is to make the dressing. Okay, so now that the bowls are done, um, that took me literally like five, ten minutes. Um, uh, it's time to assemble the dressing or the sauce. So I always do this in this tiny little mason jar and I'm going to show you guys what I put into um, this dressing. It's super easy. So first of all, what you're gonna need is olive oil, obviously. I'm going to try to eyeball this now um, because I wanna show you guys. So you need olive oil, obviously. Um, the amount I'm making is for two bowls. Then I'm adding some salt. I really don't think I should be doing, showing you guys like this. This is so dangerous. Okay, then we're going to add some lemon juice. I have a tiny bit left, but this should be enough. Um, this is 100% lemon juice, so this is not like the concentrated kind. This is fresh pressed lemon juice. I like to be generous with that. Just empty the whole bottle. Then we're going to add some paprika spice, some cumin, um, some dried parsley, pepper, and I think that's about it. So I'm not going to show you guys the way it just did because I think I'm going to spill everything. Okay, so what you do next is you obviously close the lid and you just shake it and it sure should turn into this lovely red color um, which is really nice. You can obviously also add um, some cayenne pepper to make it spicy. I didn't do that today but um, I might just add a little bit of um, Tabasco sauce at the end. I've been loving, loving Tabasco sauce lately so um, 
yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. Okay, so that's the finished bowl. I love how easy it is to make and how delicious it is. Um, so if you guys need some lunch inspiration, you can totally make this bowl yourself at home. Just add any ingredients you want and it's done in 10 minutes or so. <laughs> Okay, so it's time for dinner now. Um, I've been working on my bachelor thesis this afternoon and then um, after I finished the amount of pages I wanted to do today, we went to the river and um, just to get some fresh air and stretch our legs. So now it's time for dinner. Um, for dinner, I'm going to make my boyfriend's favorite dish. <laughs> it's um, this eggplant curry. I actually also have the recipe on my blog, so I'll leave it in the description box so if you guys are interested mainly it's just it consists of eggplant and tomatoes that's basically the main not not it but the main ingredients i also like to sometimes add some peas for some extra protein or sometimes some spinach for extra um veggies uh so you, it's totally up to you um today i'm going to add some peas i think on my blog on the recipe on my blog i also added some peas um, so yeah, my the rice is already cooking in my rice cooker and um, yes, yeah, so I'm gonna get started on the curry and this is actually a really simple, really easy dish so I really encourage you guys to try it out yourself as well, so yeah. Dinner is done now. I can't wait to dig in. Um, this is such a cozy meal. I really wanted a cozy meal after all that um, working for uni stuff. So um, I can't wait. We're probably gonna watch a um, a little bit of Netflix afterwards. We're currently watching um, Casa de Papel, which is a great series if you haven't watched that. Um, I'll see after dinner how hungrier I am or if whether I want a snack but usually I'm not that big of a snack person um, but if I make a snack it's usually um, some nuts and yeah mostly just some nuts but first I'm gonna dig in into this delicious dinner So I hope you guys enjoyed this video, enjoyed my full day of eating. Let me know in the comments below which one of these meals was your favorite or um, what you guys eat for breakfast, if you guys um, like to change it up or if you guys are like me and want the same thing for breakfast every single day. Um, also, if you guys are interested in the recipes, I'll link them down below here. And yeah, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys, thanks for watching.